Hello everyone, this is Laruna Safa, and welcome back to the Fortress of Crab Kitchens. And um, yeah, so last we left off, we were doing we were about to do some trading with our home civilization. Uh, we don't have a whole lot though. I am in the process of mining out some gemstones uh, down below. Um, I did a little bit of that off camera, and yeah, so we yeah we had like a big surplus of booze. So we're just trading some of that. Um, and I would like to get the smelting industry up and running today because we can make iron and also we could make gold because gold crafts are really, really good. Uh, let me just get camel over here. And I'm also uh, beginning to cut down trees for, um, for the tower up on our hilltop. I would really love for the tower to be made of something really cool. Like, uh, I wish we had hit some marble on our way down into the caves, because marble's cool. We could have made like a big marble tower up on the coming out of the hilltop, but we're gonna have to settle for something a little more like mundane. Um, yeah, I, I basically I designated some mining zones to get some gems mostly, but there is a weird, interesting like blue rock down there that might be kind of cool. So make some some walls with but i want it to be i don't want it to be like sandstone or basalt or whatever the hell we've been uh building with lately so um yeah anyway i'm gonna go and do some trading okay so i didn't ask for a whole lot for this trade um i just asked for some animals because i want more farm animals we don't have enough so I'm gonna go ahead and hopefully that's gonna be fine. Uh, he wants our ropes. Oh, I missed a wine barrel. Okay. Um, maybe cut back a couple ropes. Give me a sec. Okay, good. All right, we did it. <sighs> All right. So, uh, yeah, so I would definitely- oh, we missed a gem bin. Oh well. We're done. Um, anyway, I would really like to smelt- uh, I should build a couple of smelters because I really- because I want to make iron. Smelting iron, it's like we were blessed with this wonderful iron deposit right on our doorstep and, um, you know, I, but I would still really, really like to make gold because we are also blessed with gold. Uh, we have iron and gold deposits here, which we couldn't really ask for more. Um, but we gotta be able to use them is the problem. And we don't really have... I don't remember if I actually had the iron smithing set up yet. I have all the things. Okay, so I never actually started smelting. I asked for a bunch of ash to get made. Um, I don't know if I have a wood burner. Let me, let me check that. Uh, I feel like I did designate a wood burner at some point, or maybe I didn't. Okay, I did. Yeah, this potash maker. Oh yeah, that was cost. I forgot about that. Uh, what's his problem anyway? He looks like he's stressed out. I don't know what his deal is. Let me check. Lack of decent meals? Oh, he doesn't- he's a necromancer, he doesn't eat. Uh, I don't know if ne necromancers don't eat or if they just don't need to eat. Because I think we- we started making good meals, like, lavish meals, I think, last time. Um, he got into an argument, unable to acquire for something for too long, unoccupied for too long, kept from alcohol for too long. Um, yeah, I mean, he the only skill he ever had was just potash making. I don't think I ever assigned him to anything else. Yeah, he, he's just been devoid of things to do, so I'm just gonna have him on wood burner for a while if he goes and does that. Um, did we have a mayor? No, we never got a mayor yet. I could have sworn we had a mayor last time. 
Okay, um... Yeah, so if somebody could get on that wood burning, that would be fantastic. What are you doing, man? He's worshipping. He's, uh, I think that's the Shrine of the Rancid, because I know that's one of his gods. I think that's his only god. I don't remember. Uh, no, no, that's not it. Um, but yeah, we gotta wait for him to finish whatever he's doing right now. Uh, yeah. And how's the library doing? Okay, we got two pieces of writing material. We'll have somebody... <laughs> somebody will use that. Um, if we start having books, then people will go in to read a lot. Because dwarves really like to go in and read. But um, we might not get any books for a while. We might have been able to get some books uh, from the traders, but... Uh, we just didn't have the money. <laughs> um... What was this? Oh, that was the refuse pile. I forgot about that. Okay. Because I'm like, okay, it's next to the kitchen. What am I missing here? And then we gotta build some doors so that the stink doesn't get out. Okay. So now whatever dead rats and crap come up, we can... Put those in the refuse pile and um oh what was i gonna say oh yeah i think oh yeah we traded a bunch of barrels for the <sighs> to the traders um uh i hit the wrong key just now um no one's doing anything with the... yes yeah, so let's make some more barrels what else would we need? I don't remember. I don't really know what else we need right now. Um, I want to try to build. Uh, that's something we would do at the craft door shop. Um, I want to make some jugs because you can put food in jugs. Yeah, we need we need uh, we need barrels because. We just sold a whole bunch of our alcohol, and we need more barrels. We need barrels to store, like, finished, uh, like, food and things, too, before so it doesn't rot. And I'm hoping something exciting happens soon. We're about to have a big population boom. That's why we don't have a mayor yet. There was a different fortress where I recently had someone elected mayor. It was... Yeah, it wasn't this one, because we don't have anybody. <laughs> um. Oh my god. Meditate on jewels. Oh man, I'm gonna have to designate somebody else as the wood burner, because we I really, really want one to Oh, good, migrants are here, so maybe somebody will come in and be a wood burner. And actually, do I have a lever for this gate? Because I should, if I don't. Because then it'd make bringing wood downstairs way easier. And how's the well coming along? Did I ever actually... I could have sworn... Oh, we need blocks for that. I could have sworn I started having a well built last time. Oh well. Oh well. We need a well. Okay, I'm gonna make some blocks. It's not hard. And let's go down to where the levers are. I'm pretty sure I have a tower lever. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna pull that so that the tower's open. And then we'll take a look at our new migrants and see if anybody would be better for wood burning than our Necromancer, because he just spends all his time at church. You gotta- we, we need stuff to do, man. We got stuff to do, man. Um. 
Uh, more doctors. We have so many doctors. I've had forts where I just... Oh, administrator. That's interesting. What does this guy do? Because, like... They have all kinds of different things. Um, I don't remember exactly what administrators do, but... Uh, on a social skills... I think it's, uh, okay, organizing. Yeah, he'd be like a good uh, manager if we ever had a manager. I should probably designate a manager. Um, I just don't use managers. I should though. I'm just such a noob that I've never really seen the point in using managers. <laughs> uh, but maybe that'll change. Um, yeah, who else? We have a bunch- oh my god, we have like three milkers now. Well, that's good, because we just bought some animals that can be milked. And oh, this guy's a potash maker. Let's make him the wood burner. I don't see one. I don't see one in here. A cheese maker. Um, yeah, so let's put wood burning on this guy. Because cost ain't doing shh anything. <laughs> oh, he's also got some skill in carpentry. That's cool. Uh, and this peasant. I think I had him in masonry. Yeah. That person. That guy will be a mason soon. We have a goblin scholar visiting. Oh, that's interesting. Hello, Mr. Goblin. Under, oh, what else do our new citizens do? We have a woodcrafter. And yeah. Okay. So, this guy. He's come to study. He's heard that the Cat's Eye Sanctuary was the place to perform research. Oh, good luck with that. We don't have any books. <laughs> we have no books and we have two choirs that you could write on if you wanted. Because sometimes visitors will write things and leave things in your library, but... Yeah, we don't got any books, my dude. Sorry. Yeah, I'm a little more tolerant towards goblin visitors than some people probably would be. Yeah, so they're all hauling wood downstairs. Because we just did all that wood cutting to make room for the tower. Um... Did we make any blocks yet? I mean, we're in the process of it. Okay. We'll put our well right here. Unless we had it higher up. Let me check. Uh, no, we didn't. We did not designate a well higher up. Okay, yeah. I just needed to make sure. Cause my memory's not so good. We should probably make more ropes. I don't remember where that would be done, though. I don't think it's at a loom. Pretty sure it's not at a loom. And I think we do have some more gems in, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut more gems. And I want to see that uh, blue stone that I found down in the caverns. Ah, oh, man, there's no more of it. It's this stuff. This stuff. Oh, it's troll blood! <laughs> oh my god. Oh, man. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay, so I thought this was a stone. I thought this was some kind of cool looking blue stone, because I've seen cool looking blue stone in this game before. Um, but it wasn't blue stone. It was, it was just a wall stained with troll blood, which is blue. And I'm like, oh man. <laughs> I 
get over there like, oh, that looks cool. That's a cool looking stone. I want to use that for my tower. Oh, no, it's just troll blood. Well, hey, maybe we can just paint it in troll blood. That, that's, that might work. Start a troll breeding program and gather their blood. That's not actually gonna work. I don't think that's a- that's not really a- I mean, troll breeding programs are a thing, but, like, painting things in blood is not really a thing. Unless you get creative. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> oh well. Oh good! The potash maker is making ash. Hooray. And then we can make and then from that we can make soap. And I think we have ta no, we don't have any tallow. We don't have any tallow, because I because I didn't I wasn't quick enough last time. And we can stop making blocks, because blocks uh can really, really clutter up your bar pile. So we don't have any rough alexandrites, so let's cut something else. Um, yeah, our block pile's already getting really cluttered. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build more bins, because, yeah, that helps with the block pile clutter. operators. Let me take a look and I see if I need to designate any. I probably do. Oh yeah, that's right. The metal smith. Riddle. He can just, he can do furnaces. And I had designated this bone carver to do it. I don't know why that's inactive. Actually, let's do this bone carver. We'll have the legendary bone carver actually do some bone carving. If we ever actually do bone carving, we might not. Um, anyone gonna get on the- oh, it's because he's making rock, cra rock crafts, that's why. Uh, why not? Let's just- I don't know if we have a lot of bone- I don't think we have a whole lot of bone right now, but it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Oh yeah, let me put those animals in the pasture. Oh no. The merchants from Enchidnak Vilumnish have embarked on their journey. Except that they haven't, because they're still here. Oh, I hate when that happens. Oh, there they go. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, thank goodness. Oh, I hate it when they get stuck like that. It's the worst when they get stuck. Because the only way I've ever, I've ever been able to get them to leave after they get stuck is to just destroy the trade depot, and then that makes them drop all of their stuff, and then I'm in bad standing with the, with the Empire or whatever. And I should probably make some stockpiles for clay and, and cages. But, oh, that, that's a relief. Um, what are you guys doing? What's being planted? Nothing is being planted. I need to designate it. I never designated it. Pigtails. Ah, uh, let's do... Nah, uh, I think that's gonna be enough space for the pigtails. Palm helmets. Okay, so we got way more animals now. And I'm gonna do some milking. We can milk and we can shear. Oh. Oh, I somehow designated that twice. Weird. Uh, clumsy fingers hitting keys. And then, uh, we have enough pigtails to mash. And then we'll... Uh, no, we don't have enough to press. Okay. 
I wonder how that goblin's doing. <laughs> We got a lot of prophets as guests. Yeah, he's still here. What is he doing? No activity. Of course there's no activity because there's nothing in the library for him to read. <laughs> I wish I could clean it up in there a bit. Maybe I will. Ah, uh, well, yeah, he's bringing in some socializing. There's nothing really for the dwarves to do except, you know, talk to him. Because there's no books in there. <sighs> okay, well, things are going pretty smoothly. I still wish that something weird would happen. Oh! Okay, artifact time. Hopefully it's something good and something that I have the materials for. I have a lot of materials. I think I'm going to be fine. Uh, he's taking a craft dwarf workshop. Uh, okay, he's running around now, looking for stuff. Okay, so now that guy's making charcoal. Let's... Do we want to do... Uh, you know what? I'm going to set two different smelters. One for gold and one for iron, because I need... I want gold. <laughs> so, first we're going to be doing iron, and then we can build two craft... Two metalsmith workshops. I gotta go to smelter. Now I'm gonna expand the ball here a bit. Because I wanna keep all my smelting and things like down this way. And I'm gonna need to carve out more stockpile space as well. Oh, we got a lot, a lot of barrels, a lot of barrels. I think we can stop. <laughs> oh, I think we can stop with the bins as well. Oh, you know, I never bought seeds from my home sieve. That would have been really, really useful. <sighs> that was dumb of me to not do that. No, oh, I need an anvil. That's right. I can't build any more uh, metal smiths until I have anvils. Which makes sense. Okay, I just paused what's happening. There's lots of announcements of not having any plump helmet spawn. Just get, get to it. Get to the point. Get to the point. Get to the point. Okay. He's begun a mysterious construction. Okay. Good. What is that made of? I can check. Uh, dacite, hematite, hematite, rough yellow zircons, rectangular yellow zircons, reindeer leather, and then more cut yellow zircons. Okay. That'll be pretty nice, I think. Uh, valuable. Very valuable. I don't think I've accidentally sold any artifacts yet, because that's something that I have a habit of doing sometimes. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get as many gems out of the caverns as I wish I did. Do we have enough to build another anvil? really like to build an anvil. We have a metalsmith who could do it. If he's not doing other things. Okay, shut up about the plump helmet spawn, please. Oh my god. Okay, uh... Animal stockpile. Put that, like... Because the thing is, I'm going to be filling it up with cages too. Like, empty cages too. And then, custom stockpile. Custom settings. Enable stones. And I'm going to make it metal ores and clay. And this isn't really enough space for that, but we'll carve out more. What 
do I have the metalsmith doing? I'm doing something that isn't metalsmithing, I think. Oh, he's a potter. Well, I don't think I'm doing anything with pots right now. So I think he should be getting on that soon. Yeah, I had disabled furnace operator for him because I don't want him smelting things. But he has all of the metal crafting skills. So he should be getting on that anvil pretty soon. If I have enough iron. Oh, unless he admitted already. Oh, okay. <laughs> Everything's happening at once. Um, Sir Ephemvor Engraver has created Gigamel Nokuts, a Dacite earring. He claims it as an heirloom to the fa in the name of family ancestor Macmore Canvas Feats. Let me take a look and see if that dude is in the fortress because, like, what happened that one time? Um, they'll just dedicate crafts to each other that aren't necessarily family ancestors. Uh, so who is Macmore Canvas Feats? Let me do that quick. Uh, okay, nobody named Macmore. Yeah, no, we don't. That guy's not living around here. Uh, it could be somebody that the dude knew? Could be someone in this list. Yeah, no. Uh, I don't see anybody with that name. I guess it's somebody who's like way back in the family line. I could look them up in Legends mode if I want to. Anyway. Uh, oh yeah, we never looked at the description for these bone greaves. Let's take a look at that. This is a reindeer bone greaves. All craftsmanship is of the highest quality. On the image, on the item is an image of Azim Shkat accumulated lances, the dwarf in reindeer bone. That could be somebody who either lives here or is part of our civilization. Uh, sometimes they might be a baron or a, maybe the king or the queen, whoever is ruling us. Um, what did he name this thing? Um, okay, it translates to One Humped Camel Forks, the Safe Blame. Okay. <laughs> Alright, uh, whatever, man. Um, and then. The earring translates to the Citation of Mystifying, which is cool. That's a cool name for an earring, I guess. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, 94,800. That is not bad. Uh, this is Dacite Earring. All craft or ship is of the highest quality. Is it encircled with bands of oval hematite cabochons and octagon cut yellow zircons? Uh, this object is adorned with hanging rings of reindeer leather and menaces with spikes of dacite and yellow zircon. On the item is an image of a rose-cut gem and hematite. On the item is an image of an octagon-cut gem and yellow zircon. Okay. That's cool. That would look pretty neat. Very yellow. And how much was this thing? 3,360. 3, that is cheap. <laughs> that is a cheap artifact. That is the cheapest one we have in this fortress right now. Um, they, they get progressively more expensive usually, um, unless they have a lot of gems, because you found a lot of gems, which I did. Uh, I mean, I kind of found a lot of gems. I need to go mining for more. Um, yeah, things are going okay here. Oh, you know what I could do? I could make some wheelbarrows. And then the wheelbarrows will help people haul uh, rocks around. Ran out of creatures to milk. It's okay. And uh, let me carve out more of this. We're up to 56 dwarves right now. We should be having an election any day now. Probably that the first of the year. So we're gonna need uh, whoa, 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 whoa. hang on. What was that announcement? When did we have fat to render? Farmer needs fat render map producing glob. 
I didn't know he was rendering fat. What creature did we kill that needed fat? Well, maybe maybe a hunter brought something in. Do we have any hunters? I think we might. Oh god, I'm so disorganized at keeping track of everything. Um, no established hunters, but there might be somebody with the hunting uh, ability somewhere. Uh, I don't see any. Okay, uh, he just rendered fat. What does that look like in the kitchen? Uh, pushing the wrong keys all the time. Okay, uh, tallow, tallow, tallow. Do we have any tallow here? Um, I don't see any. Nobody's shearing either. I probably don't have anybody who's, like, set for shearing. I think we have cheesemakers. Um, I'm gonna need to, like, reassign people things. Because we got a lot of people who are doing a lot of the same thing. And I don't know. Oh, God. Okay. Let me put cost on something. Um, you know what? Let's try to make him a furnace operator. And maybe he'll do his job? We'll see. We got two soap makers. We don't have anything to make soap with. Um, we have three milkers. We don't need three milkers. We don't need three milkers. This guy's not even good at milking. What is he even doing as a milker? He's a milker and a potter. Oh my gosh. Okay, um, so you can shear. You do some shearing. Yeah, I don't see any in their list, so that means we don't have any. <sighs> okay, um, cost is still super stressed out. Because he does, he, he he needs things to do, but he won't do them because he's busy at church all day. Okay, there goes somebody shearing a sheep. Okay, so uh, all right, so we ran out of paper producing plants. Okay, we can start pressing them. Good. Somebody's making cheese. So we got some good foodstuffs going on. How's progress on the well? Oh, the well is built. Awesome. Very cool. And on this place is all done. That's neat. Um, how many? I hadn't been brewing any drinks. We're gonna need plump hummus seeds for that. Where are you finding fat to render? I mean, that was what I was... I was going for the still, but, uh... Anyway... Yeah, where are you rendering fat? Whose fat are you rendering? I didn't butcher anything lately. What's in the refuse pile? Maybe that'll give us some clues. Well, that's wool. For some reason, they put all the wool and crap in the in the refuse pile. I could probably just make a custom stockpile just for wool. Um, yeah, so we got Subabish Singh. What is this? Oh, okay. That's a named animal. Somebody, uh, sh someone sheared, um, the wool of an animal that was a pet. So, because <laughs> whenever I see a name in the refuse pile, that usually means, like, well, not really in the refuse pile, because if it was somebody's body part, it would go in the body stockpile, which I don't think I have yet. Um, <laughs> so I was like, oh god, who died? Whose body part is that hanging out in the refuse pile? Um, uh, emus. Oh, maybe he's making, maybe he's doing emus. Yeah, maybe he's rendering emu fat, if there's any fat to be had on that. Um, okay, I think he's doing it right now. No, he's just still making fine meals. Okay, now we got stuff being brewed. Yeah, 
I'm doing like just, just a lot of housekeeping right now. I should probably just like cut it all. I don't know. I just still like to talk over it though. Okay, well now I'm gonna spin this thread. Because we're done sharing. <laughs> I don't want it sitting there in the refuse pile next to all the emu bones. But speaking of emus, do I have... Do I have tallow yet? I'm always on the lookout for tallow because uh, I never have the tallow unless I'm like keeping my eye on it. I don't see any. I think we're good on wheelbarrows. Um, I'm gonna make a stockpile. Let me just make sure the settings are the same. Okay, yeah, so I'm gonna make another big stockpile for all the metal and clay, and then I'm gonna set wheelbarrows on it. So, um, 10 each. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to do a lot more expanding, um, because we're running out of furniture spaces. Although I am gonna be putting a lot of beds and doors down soon. Oh my god, the outpost liaison gave birth to a girl. Does she live here now? Okay, wait. Okay, Ekabir. Sidid come a something. Uh, outpost liaison has given birth to a girl. Okay, so this outpost liaison, she got married uh, a couple episodes ago uh, to a pilgrim who also doesn't live here, and now she just gave birth to a girl. And like, okay, um, do either of them? And like, the the, the baby is showing up in my resident list. Does she show up in my resident list? Uh, Ekabir. Um, no, that is not the right Ekabir, because that's a girl. That's a little girl. Um, okay, so this mom isn't on the resident list? But the baby is. Neither parents are residents here. But the baby is a resident. How is this going to work? <laughs> How is this gonna work? I mean, congratulations! <laughs> but you're gonna be- you're gonna need to be here for a bit. Um... Like, you can't leave. <laughs> Unless you take the baby with you. I don't know how this is gonna work. That's so weird. I've never had the outpost liaison get married and then have kids at my fortress. Like, while they were here. I've never had that happen before. Um... <laughs> Yeah, okay, um, so this is the first baby born in our fortress, which is cool, and, like, you're supposed to christen the baby with, like, a, like, a name, um, you know, being the first baby born in your fort, so I'm gonna name this baby, I'm gonna name the next baby who's born from a resident, next time a resident has a baby, I'm gonna name them, but I'm gonna name this baby. And I need to think of something. Babies have likes and dislikes when they're babies. She was born today, which makes her very young indeed. Um... Yeah, it already has all of her worship, like, all the gods she worships, and her appearance, uh, and her likes and dislikes, and her dreams. But she's a baby. <laughs> um, I could name her something to do with the fort itself. I have an idea. It's a cute name for a baby. And it has to do with kitchens. Okay, so... With that, I'm going to call it an episode, because it's been about an hour. Um, more than an hour, given the footage I'm going to be cutting out. Um, I want some feedback from my viewers. 
I want you guys to know if you want me to cut out all of the housekeeping stuff, like you don't care about, you know, anything being added to the farms, you don't care about any of like the little things that I do that I still talk over, like uh, manage, like crafting and brewing and cooking and other farm management and like unit management. Because I like to talk over that, um, you know, it's kind of like talking to myself, but I'm also talking to you. And if you enjoy this, if you get some kind of benefit out of just hearing my voice, just talking to myself about all the little things that need to go on before, then let me know in the comments. If you don't like it, if you really wish I would just shut up and get to the action already, then also let me know in the comments and I will decide how I'm going to keep doing these uh, based on the reactions that I get uh, from my viewers. So thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all in the next video. See ya!